How's it going, everyone, and welcome to Tomb Raider, the reboot edition of this game that just came out not too long ago. We're going to be doing a new game today, and I'm also going to be playing on hard, because recently I've taken a liking to uh, trying to play games on a harder difficulty than just normal, or the hardest difficulty available, and no hard, sorry, hard... I'm very hard right now. Hard is the hardest difficulty that is available off the bat. I'm sure if you beat the game, then maybe a new one unlocks. I have no idea, but I started a game uh, just to see how my recording software would do, would do on this game. It depends. Uh, Crisis 3, for example, I had to do a little bit of tweaking because recording and playing a game at the same time taxes your system a little bit more than just playing it. Because I can play Crisis 3 just fine on higher settings, but... Unfortunately, I could not record it on higher settings without it dipping below 30 frames, which ends up looking really bad. If you're wondering what kind of graphics card I have, I have a GTX 690, which is pretty good. So, you can see how recording can kind of fuck you up, but... Before we begin, real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reference a Mario video that I did recently. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, I uh, pretty much came up with an idea as, like, sort of a, a rewards incentive program thing where goals would be set on certain videos, and if said goal was met, then something good would happen for the fan base. If it isn't met, then nothing bad happens, so it's not like, you know, it's it's good and bad. It's just, you know, good or neutral, so... I haven't really worked out the tiering system yet. Um, so, really, the one thing that I can offer is an hour of power, which means I'll probably record about an hour or two of this game. Uh, more, more like two hours. I'll probably upload three videos off the bat, and if this goal is met, I'll upload uh, the fourth video or so will be an hour-long video, which is what an hour of power is. So the goal today is going to be 5,000 likes. If that is hit, then the fourth video or so, because I might upload more than three videos off the bat, the fourth video will definitely be an hour of power. Um, you can expect an hour of power of this game at some points. However, you might be able to uh, coax me to get multiple ones in, uh, maybe two or so, I don't know, or just one really early on, so uh, I will link that Mario video in case you're wondering, um, you know, what, what the full scope of it was. I have other ideas of things to offer, which is what that tiering system is that I talked about, where, you know, depending on what, what happens, if the goal is met or exceeded by far, then people can vote on, on specific things that they want, but, you know, I, I just thought of this not too long ago, so I don't have a whole a system in place. But 5,000... And you get an hour of power, so I make it happen. Set out to make my mark. I know you can do it! Now I'm gonna shut up. Adventure. But instead, adventure found me. Well, that couldn't have gone worse. In our darkest moments. When life flashes before us. We find something. Something that keeps us going. Hey, she got saved by some dude. Chris Redfield, is that you? Oh, this is gonna end terribly. How did she not slam into all that, like, jaggedy shit? She would've hit all that jaggedy shit. She'd've been cut up to hell. There's no way. Who the fuck saved her, by the way? That's what I'd like to know. I would really like to know who saved her. Thank God this scary piece of land with the red mercenary guy is here. With the World War II things. Man, 
Maybe that wasn't a mercenary guy. Maybe that was just someone we knew. Oh, never mind. We just got knocked the fuck out by someone. What the hell was that about? Also, the subtitles of this game seem to be very uh, Valve-like. And the fact where they just show, like, every sound that happens. Which I guess is good if, if you are actually hearing impaired, but... Mostly I just put them on so that if I'm talking over a cutscene for whatever reason, that people can still read what's going on. Usually I try to keep my talking during dialogue to a, to a bare minimum, but sometimes it kind of bleeds over into some dialogue. Unfortunate, but it happens. <laughs> Laura, how's it hanging? Hey, 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 it's bad. Who the fuck kidnapped us? Like, seriously, like, I'm like a, a cocoon here. I've actually played past this part, so I actually know how to get past this. Got to get down. So I was doing a fun bit of testing just to, just to fully make sure that I would be able to record this on the settings that I had, no problem. So, oh, cool. Skeleton was in there. But, uh, yeah, if, if you are new to the channel, hello, how's it going? Um, other than that, uh, other than that, I, I do like to try and do stuff about as blind as possible. And, oh, God, I'm on fire. Fuck! Oh, come on, get out of there! There you go. Oh, look at that rebar pole thing. What is that? What's right there? What, what organ is over there? I might have pierced an organ. Oh, shit. I try to do things as blind as possible, um, which basically just means going through the game without knowing what's going to be coming to me. But, would you guys like to hear a story of my of my history with Tomb Raider? I'm sure you do. I'm going to tell you anyway, uh, because you can't speak to me right now. Oh, I wonder what happened to that fine fellow. What's going on, buddy? Just hanging around and shit? What's this guy doing? Okay. My experience with Tomb Raider is pretty much like this guy's experience with life. Just bad times. Um, I haven't played many of them, but I remember playing Tomb Raider 2 for the original PlayStation that was loud. When, I was, when I was very young, probably like before I was a teenager, maybe right around that time. I, don't, I can't remember when it came out, but I was pretty young. And uh, what happened to you? I don't know what happened to that guy. Look at this person. Is that a chick? Who is that? Can't tell if that's a guy or a chick. Duh. I think that's a chick, actually. Okay. I can't tell, to be honest. Like, kind of looks like they have boobs, but they're kind of muscular. Are you saying chicks can't be muscular? No, I'm not saying that. Um, but I remember playing PlayStation, the original one, like Tomb Raider 2. And I remember just trying to swan dive at Laura's mansion, trying to break her neck over and over again. I was, like, a terrible child, apparently. I also remember locking the butler in the freezer. So... That, that is my experience with the Tomb Raider franchise. I never did get very far in that game. As you can tell, I was far too busy trying to lock the butler in a freezer. And uh, trying to kill Laura by <laughs> swan diving her. LB to examine the environment. Oh, sweet. The torch went out, but I can relight it. And then set this shit on fire over here. Wow, like everything is breaking around here. Holy shit. But the good thing is, is that I believe a new studio is working on this now. I think IDOS, IDOS, I think they sold it, maybe? Or maybe Square, maybe Square Enix bought them. And, uh, I guess they have help on it now. I, I'm not exactly sure about it. Don't quote me on that. But, oh my god, who the fuck is this guy? Come on, man. I'm trying to fucking explain something here, you piece of shit. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to help us. He's saying that he was trying to help us. Maybe maybe he was a good guy. Or maybe he's just very attracted to my muddy, bloody self. Muddy, bloody Laura. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, can't, I think Square might have bought them. And uh, I believe the, the game has taken a new direction. I think people are comparing it somewhat to Uncharted. 
Again, don't quote me on that. But I do know that this game has gotten pretty good scores across the board. I've seen a lot of 8s and 9s. And there goes the torch again. Objective beacons. LB to highlight objective beacons. Alright. That's fantastic. I'm gonna jump up here if I can. No, I can't jump up there. That's great. Uh... Okay, yeah, there's more fire right here. But exactly how do I get this fire to... What kind of contraption is this? I have no idea. Let's fucking burn it. <laughs> Screw it. There you go. Burn that shit. I don't know what that does. Maybe uh, it's... Yeah, it's like dropping payload here. Oh, it's going to be a raft, isn't it? It's going to be a raft. Or not. Oh, what is going oh, it's a dam. Is it making a dam? What's going on here? I have no idea. Can I burn this? Oh, I can burn everything. Yeah, let's burn everything, sure. I do need to figure out what the fuck to do with this. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen pretty good, pretty good scores across the board. Apparently I can, even, even with a bum. Oh, what? Oh, that's poopy. That thing, like, it gets blocked by something. Oh, that's great. We're already in a puzzle. Survival instincts. LB. Obviously, shit needs to be done here. Can I jump to that? Oh, I made it. Holy fuck, there you go. Yeah, dump some burning debris out in there. Why not? Are we, uh... Okay, I guess we're done with that. Here you go. I mean, let me get out of this. There you go. Yeah, it is washing in with the tide. Also, if you don't know, I uh, am prolifically bad at puzzles, so... Is there a sprint I got here? Can I, can I sprint here? Maybe... Oh, hey! I got some burning shit in there. There you go. Oh, I guess that's how you get fire to that. Thank God. Oh, I got some experience. Shit! 